Okay, welcome to the Hyatt Regency, Boston. Um, this hotel is located right downtown uh, here in Boston, about a 10 minute walk or so from South Station. So if you're coming in by Amtrak, um, nice short walk. You can take the Silver Line bus from uh, Logan to South Station and then you know that 10 minute walk from there. So pretty convenient to get here from the airport. Um, I am staying here in a junior suite, upgraded here as a globalist. Um, I was actually offered through the app, they pre-upgraded me to a corner room, um, and I asked to check in if they had any suites available, uh, and uh, they have a junior suite here available. Um, the main difference is, is, I guess, from what I was told from the receptionist, there's a separate living area here, which I'll show you in just a second, and then uh, in the corner king room, it's just one large room, so not much of a difference. Um, but here we are in the junior suite. So as you come in, you've got a, uh, let's first start over here by the door. You've got a bench uh, here off to the right with a um, exposed uh, closet uh, post here where you can hang a jacket or something like that. TV off to the right with a um, bar area here where you've got your complimentary globalist waters down in the fridge coffee maker here uh, and an ice bucket right there. Uh, off here on the side is a um, side table with a coffee table with a couch. I don't know if this is a pullout couch. We're going to see. It is a pullout couch. So uh, if you've got somebody else staying with you here, they've got a semi-private area here with a pullout couch. Let's look here in the closet. Standard stuff here, extra blanket, extra pillow, ironing board, um, hangers, safe, that kind of stuff. Um, it is worth noting that this room is supposedly handicap accessible. And I don't know if all of the suites are, but this one in particular uh, is handicap accessible. Off here to the side, we've got two uh, sitting chairs here with a view of not much. Looks like uh, just kind of the inner courtyard there of the hotel, some surrounding buildings, but nothing too much of a view. If I remember right, this hotel um, really doesn't have that great of a view from, from either of the rooms that I've stayed here before. Uh, a lower bed because this is a handicap room, so a little bit lower here. Uh, plenty of outlets on either side, which is great. Uh, looks like there's a USB port as well. We've got another television here off to the side. And let's come into the bathroom. Nice and big, because this is a handicapped bathroom. Um, you've got your sink, your normal toiletries, toothbrush and uh, mouthwash there, which is nice. There is another closet here, which has absolutely nothing in it, so I'm not really sure why that's there. Um, as I said, big bathroom here. You've got a toilet here. You've got a little rack with some extra towels. Uh, bathroom uh, tub here is handicap accessible, as I mentioned, so a lot of railings here. Um, several um, spouts for the water, so not a big deal. I'm, I'm not handicapped, but this is a, a perfectly fine room. Um, she did kind of sway a check-in thinking maybe I'd prefer the corner room uh, more, not being handicapped, so I'm not really sure uh, what that room is. I think I've stayed in it before, and it's perfectly fine. Uh, I would say probably about the same size, um, just one large room versus this kind of a cordon off room here. So coming back down to the living area here, you've got the couch, you've got a mirror there, uh, the bar area here, closet, and then this front little entry area here with a um, bench. So uh, breakfast situation here, the breakfast uh, is in the restaurant downstairs, which is real great. Um, it covers up to either the buffet or up to $29 if you want to order off the menu. So I really like how they give you a choice of either of that. This hotel in particular, I found uh, to be real good about globalist benefits because um, she explained to me that as a globalist, my destination fee is waived, which is true. Um, but she also said I get the benefits of the destination fee even though the fee is waived, which a lot of hotels will push back on. I know the Grand Hyatt in DC is one in particular that pushes back and that if you get the fee waived, you don't get any of the amenities. Here you do. There's a few discounts, $10 off a dinner, I think it was. Um, they give you a bunch of complimentary uh, clam chowder uh, coupons here, these little tokens 
to use on clam chowder, which is kind of cool, uh, but you do get the benefits. I, and, and I have to say that checking in here was the most um, by the book, I guess you could say check in, but really, really nice person. And, and I'm glad they kind of explained everything because that's how it should be. A lot of hotels kind of skirt around things. Um, why I wasn't given the junior suite up front, I think probably because it was handicapped and they just wanted to put me in the best non-handicap room, I'm assuming, but not really any pushback, um, you know, or anything like that. When I inquired, they said they had this room, no problem. Uh, and again, I don't know which one is necessarily better. The, the uh, front desk person seemed to think both were, were comparable. So we'll look here br really briefly uh, at the layout of the hotel. Here's that junior suite. And then here are the corner room. So as you can tell, um, you know, probably a similar size room, just kind of on that uh, triangle there off to the side. So this is the Hyatt Regency, Boston, Massachusetts. And uh, here, uh, the rate, by the way, 185 a night, 185. Uh, kind of expensive here in Boston um, this weekend. So uh, this is the lowest rate I could find is 185 here at the Regency. So upgraded to this junior suite as a globalist. Oh, yeah.